today. Good, man. It's going even better. Let me see your arm. Which arm is bigger? Here, right here, right here. That arm is bigger because that's the one you sign with. And this one here too. All right. All I right. do it with both sides. Hey, hey, how you doing there? This is Michael Rooker. I'm saying hello to hello to everybody at ManCal TV. Lou Ferrigno right there. He played the Incredible Hulk. How are you? Lou! How you been? Good. How's it going? Say hi to the kids at hey, home. Hey, he's the man. The best. The best of the best. It's a beautiful world. It's a beautiful Will Joel, and he's got the robot over there. Um, can you show the robot? That's Tom Servo. He's an old friend of mine, too. We'll see if they... Uh... Will Joel, talk to me if I don't pay. So so talk to me about... Uh, I just got here. What do I need to do? You're, you're an expert at these well, things. number one, Peter Chris is here, so you got to go talk to Peter Chris. An old friend of mine yeah. from KISS. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I was in the KISS Army. I'm proud to admit it. If I hear you my challenge was to meet you from Joel from MST 3K Theater. So I, I've met him. Mission accomplished. You want to say hi to the kids in Chicago? How you doing, man? It's good to be in Chicago. Good to eat steak. Death, what can I do? So you're a big Peter Chris fan, and I noticed there was an incident with you and Peter Chris. Uh, you know, from Kiss. What happened? Well, apparently he won't sign this book, Nothing to Lose. And uh, as you can see, I have uh, Ace and Paul and Gene on here wanted to get the collection completed and. You, you gave him 550 bucks, I saw. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Did he give you back your money? He did. Yeah. Are you still a Peter Chris fan after that oh, moment? Of course. But So if I punch you in the face, would you still like me? You're number one in my book. Okay. <laughs> I'm busy with Man Cow. The Blues Brothers. You're making the Blues Brothers wait in Chicago. <laughs> Come on. This is Riker from Star Trek. And my buddy Jonathan Franks, how are you, brother? Wonderful. And, and a great and a great director now directs a lot of the hit shows you see. Man, cow, thirty years it's been. How long have you been doing this? Since the eighties. Yeah, I've talked to you since day one. Good to see you. Good to see you. What a great town, great con. Yeah. Who else have you gotten so far? Who Everybody. else have you used? Yeah. Everybody. You got Bruce Campbell. Yes. Wow, yep. he co-hosted yesterday. Do you get old Baldy? I have not gotten Patrick Stewart. Can you put in a good word? Happy to. Yeah. All right. Ted Raimi, uh, my best friend I've never met. He's been in a ton of movies and, and hit TV shows. I, I'm in most things made. I, and Rue. Are you going to be in this movie, Rue? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm working on a horror movie, and he's, he's going to be in it. That's right. We're I, both working. We're actually I, both working. I'm a nobody in it. But. No, you're in everybody in it because, you know, we got Man Cow behind this. Now, how are you able to be out in the light here, Count Gregula? Well, you know what I use? I use a special SPF 5000. It, you know, it gets rid of all that uh, hot sun on my body, so. This is Count Gregula. Yes, yes. You can look me up at uh, count-gregula.com. I'd rather not. I really would rather not. <laughs> well, you should, though. I'm on Chicago now, too. I, I hear you suck, but in a good way. Yes, it's always a good way, never a bad way. But not he's not very popular in Boys Town because of the teeth. Can we see? Oh. Yes, see the teeth? Oh. No, never Boys Town, Girls Town give me, only. Give me, give me a little light. Give me a ah! All right, now I saw this on Popeye once. Can you undo that and lay out a whole breakfast for us? No, that doesn't work like that. <laughs> Does it? Your, is your hair's up there though? You have long yeah. hair. Yes, I do. It's probably I'm pound of here. See, Peter Chris is over there. Peter Chris is right over there. Show him. Okay, all right, all right, back over here. Peter Chris, he has long hair, but it's a wig. On me. It's a wig. Nothing on you. Nothing on me. Thank you, man. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen. Can I? If I do that, would you spin like a top? I would not know. <laughs> oh well. Are you Are you okay in there? You're not going to pass out, are you? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> dude, dude, it's leaking. It's leaking. It's leaking! Uh. So how are you, little fella? Uh, I'm doing okay, man, Cal. I'm just hanging out with a bunch of nerds today at the Wizard World. This is our favorite comic book artist. What's, what's your name? My name is uh, Bix Skliffle, and uh, right now I'm working on Waxman. Well, no, right now you're working on uh, the Nicolas Cage Superman movie. All right. I'm John Schnepp. How's it going, guys? I'm doing uh. The Death of Superman Lives, What Happened. It's uh, based on this uh, written by Kevin Smith 
was going to be directed by Tim Burton and it was going to have Nicolas Cage as Superman. And I got interested in this because of the other Supermans, like Superman Returns. Just okay, you're a little long-winded. All right. Well, no, you know, no. So it's me a little bit. he's doing a documentary about the Tim Burton Superman with Nicolas Cage and Kevin Smith that never happened. He got it really. What's the right. website? It's supportsupermanlives.com, and you help me raise finishing funds. It's a beautiful world. for you. It's a beautiful world.